I hope everyone had the most amazing Christmas. We had a great Christmas, apart from our turkey that went off, thanks to Sainsbury's. Honestly, I can't even begin to tell you what happened. Luckily, my mum bought a spare turkey, which she's never done before. And when we told Sainsbury's what happened, they, um, they've been a nightmare, basically, wanting to give us proof, they want us to take our turkey in to make sure it's rotten. Anyway, apart from that, we had a great Christmas at our house. Today is New Year's Eve. I really shouldn't be filming this, but because I'm having a party tonight, but I really wanted to have three days off over Christmas, which extended to four. And now I've got to film and edit this ready for New Year's Day, because I really want to get this up for New Year's Day. So tonight we're having a party. I've half done my makeup. I haven't done my hair yet. And I have all of my close, no, not all of my close friends, a couple of them. One of them's just had a baby. One of them's not in the country, but we have like a good selection of our close friends. So I'm really excited. We're having the party in the bar again. If you didn't see the video from last year, I'll leave that in the link below. And I've decided that I am actually gonna vlog tonight. So that is gonna be my next video. So I have a pile of things here for, that I got for Christmas. I got so spoiled this year more than last year and the year before and um, that's because well my little sister had a startup business and now she's doing really well so she spoiled me um me and pa paris hasn't bought me any presents for like the last two years since our wedding because we had our wedding to pay for then we moved into this house then he set up his own business so um for the past couple of years he hasn't really bought me many gifts but that's been fine because then I started to do really well and I was just buying stuff that I wanted myself. But it's been really nice that you bought me a special gift this year. So it's even more special. And for you eagle eyes that have already spotted it, this is it. It's the Von Cleef Vintage... Oh my God, I've even forgotten what it's called. Vintage... I can't remember, but I'll leave in the link below. I've always loved this whole collection. My One of my friends, Nathan, who's actually coming tonight, he's got it in black. And I've always loved them, but like always looked at it from afar because it's fine jewellery. And fine jewellery is not something I've never been into, which is strange because Paris loves jewellery. My best friend loves jewellery and always dragging me around the shops. But um, the last few months, it's been something that I've been really focusing on. Then by fate, I worked with De Beers. And if you actually read that blog post, it tells you like why I'm into fine jewellery, why I want to start investing into it. So this was a really nice special piece. Um, I, me and Paris decided together that I, I hinted because we've had such a good few months. We've been working on a few projects together and we've both been doing well. So I kind of hinted that I'd like something from Von Cleef and then left it at that. This comes in rose gold, white gold and yellow gold. It comes in black, uh, black or mother of pearl and then each season they do like a special colour. So um, he, bought, he bought me the white gold to match my watch and the mother of pearl. It's such a special gift, I'm going to wear it every day and it comes in three different sizes, the bracelet, all different kinds of things that you can get with it. So I'll leave that link below to where we got this. So that was a really special gift. And then he bought me um, like a white company robe. He bought me these, um, I'm not very flexible, but like baby blue cashmere socks. Olivia Von Howe silk pyjamas. Oh, I forgot to go and get my, um, one of the things he bought me, because there's a lot of things that I've already been using, but I'll leave, like, a bit of footage. It's a candle, like, blower out. It's called Granny Bluffer or something like that. I have never even knew that you can get these. I got it Christmas Eve. It's the most amazing gift I've ever received, because everybody, like, it's amazing for everyone, but, like, get the filings out. I, I have severe brittle asthma, it's been really bad the last couple of years, um, like 10 years ago I had a test on my lungs and I had the lungs of a 60 year old which has progressively got worse and I physically can't even blow out a candle, like I know, I feel sorry for me, but I don't have the breath to, to pull out a candle unless it's like right here, so it really was like mind blowing gift for me to have because now I can do like 10 candles at a time, I got that which was really lovely. I'm sure he got me, he's going to watch this back and think he got me a lot more, which I think he did, but I can't remember. Um, I might come across a few things here, but this was my main gift from him and it was amazing. Right, let's just get into it really, because there is just so many things to get into. I'm going to go into what I bought myself. Every Christmas Eve I buy myself something, 
which started off very small years and years ago. Last year was like the biggest gift I bought myself on my tradition and it was my Dior Ever bag. This year, and I'm going to start with this first because I know that so many of you want to know what I bought myself at Cartier. There's just some other bits in here as well. Um, and there was a lovely girl in there called Lauren who didn't actually sell me this. But she was so nice and she gave me in Paris like two bottles of Cartier champagne. And it is my favourite champagne. Every time I go in there I'm like... And she gave me it and it's actually Cartier champagne. So I'm, I'm hoping that I can buy that somewhere. So thanks Lauren for that nice gift. Um, so this is something that I've had my eye on. What's that? What's this? I didn't even look at this. <gasps> oh, wow. I didn't even know that was in here jewellery and watch cleaner. I'm going to do that for my ring later. I didn't even see that. Oh wow, that's amazing. Didn't even see that. I haven't even opened this since I bought it. So um, Paris loves Cartier. It's something that his family love. Like his dad buys his mum something Cartier every year. Um, his dad has a Cartier. Like it's some, a brand that he really loves. And when I bought, got my watch for my 30th, he was asking me to get a Cartier and it was too like feminine and, uh, feminine and girly and I wanted an everyday boyish watch and that's why I got um, a Rolex Daytona but I really love the Cartier watches now and I would love to buy myself one for next year so let's see. So this is something that I've had my eye on for a long time. If that's annoying you in the mirror let me know and I'll change the angle next time. Um, and this isn't my final setup, it's just that I've got all the bar ready for the party tonight. So um, I saw this and instantly fell in love with it, but I was kind of gearing myself. The thing is, is I want the whole set and the whole set is very expensive. But anyway, this is what I started off with. I bought myself the rose gold clue ring. I bought this in a size 54. Let's put it on. And I was in a panic when I bought it because the plan was to get it Christmas Eve. You see that? It goes really nice with my diamond ring that I got from Luxury Promises. That blog post is going to be on in a couple of days, by the way. So I went to buy this Christmas Eve. I planned it with the guy that um, who had been helping me. And when I was trying them all on, I'd been in Harrods. This is like a tip for anyone that's buying a ring, basically. I had been shopping for a couple of hours. By the time I went to Cartier, I was very hot. And the 55 fit me perfectly. When I went to go and buy that on Christmas Eve, I went from the car to Cartier and it felt really, really big. So you see I've got quite a lot of room here. And he didn't have the 54 and I was a bit upset that I'd ruined my Christmas Eve tradition but I thought it's too much money to spend. And I hate talking about money but the whole point is uh, some of you might like this and you want to know how much it was. So this was 2090 I think or 2100, something like that. And I don't know the exact price because I had lots of points to spend on my rewards card. So that took a huge chunk off of it. Um, so I know what I paid, but I don't know how much to the pound what it was with that. Another reason why I love shopping in Harrods. Um, so he ordered me in the size 54. And I was still a little bit hot when I was trying it on. So when you're buying a ring, make sure you're hot when you're trying it on. Because then you don't want to when you're on holiday or you are hot, you don't want it to be uncomfortable. But at the same time, don't try it on with your, when you're cold. No, wrong way round. Don't buy it at the size when you're really hot because then in the normal temperature, it's going to fall off and you don't want an expensive ring or any ring to fall off. So I text my friend Lily at the time and I was like, did you buy yours tight? She was like, yep, yeah, buy it completely tight. So if you are buying a ring, buy it. So then it's comfortable, but, but buy the tighter one. So I'm really happy with this. I would love to get myself the matching bracelet. God, I want like everything, don't I? But something to work towards, and I think that jewellery is a nice thing to invest in and you can wear it every day. So this is the first time that I've worn it and I'm so happy. It goes so beautiful with my new ring. It goes really, really nice together. So that's what I bought myself. I also bought myself a cheeky pair of Balenciaga boots and that was only because I bought them from Louise V. Roma and I kept getting the email to say that I had some more rewards points to spend that they expired today. So I bought myself some. They're going to arrive in two days time and I'm going to do a reveal on my Insta stories. I do that all the time. Sometimes I can't wait till YouTube and I'll reveal it on Insta stories. So make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to see these kind of things. And on the 3rd of January, I'll be doing an Instagram haul of some bits that, that have been delivered. Another thing that I bought myself, 
oh, I've got my lipsticks here. 2017 was the year I discovered my absolutely fave lip combination, which is Givenchy. And this has been my fave since I went to Paris. Um, and then I did the collaboration with them. And um, I really realised how much I love it. So that was a real honour to work with a brand on one of my favourite lipsticks. Like, that was a real honour. So it's the Beige Mousseline. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I like butcher French names, which is not right. Okay, it's number 101. And it's like a beige colour. And I don't go too well with matte lipsticks. So I love the creaminess of Givenchy. And then I put that with Lip Liner 10 which is the same colour. Sometimes I use the dark one or the pinky one to change the tone. And I love number six, gloss. I really love gloss. I think it's nicer for smaller lips as well and it helps keep my lipstick on. That was not nothing to do with Christmas. And I'm um, sorry if this is in a weird order, but I'm just gonna pick it up from the pile. So I'm very, very excited to talk about the gift that I bought myself, which is from Dylan X. Dylan, Dylan and Lex is, um, her name's Drew, she, she's American, I always thought she was from New York, but when I look at her, I love looking at her Instagram, when I looked at her Instagram, she always seems like she's in LA, so either or, like two of my favourite places in America, I discovered Drew a good few years ago, I'm going to say like over five years ago, and I discovered her because we both had the pearl um, vintage, I had the top and she had the jacket, and then she made me discover the jacket and then I went looking for it and found it. And I love her boyish, boyish style, the same as mine. I'm just a bit jealous that she actually has a boy name to go with her style. So I've always loved her jewellery. From what I understand, she used to be really into jewellery and then she became so popular, she then created her own brand. I think that's what happened anyway. And she, she specialised in like only sterling steel and like silver jewellery which I loved and then she's kind of ventured into yellow gold I think it's plated um, and then when I saw her pearl collection I literally lost my mind and I had to have it so the first thing I saw was actually a necklace called the Gigi which I didn't end up buying but it's next on my list I then went for this one I'm pretty certain I don't know what I'm wearing tonight but I'm pretty certain I'm wearing this and my, my outfit revolves around this and my coat, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Did I bring that? Yes, I did. So I ended up going for this one, and I love the idea of laying everything up. I think it will go not really well with this as well, because I can change the length of this. It's just the most beautiful necklace. It's just beautiful. I couldn't resist the pearls. I can't wait to wear it. I, I live in jeans and t-shirts, and I think that this will be really nice to accessorise. Um, just wearing it on its own or layering it up. Oh, it's, it's so beautiful. The prices are, it's costume jewellery and the prices are very high end for costume jewellery, which is why I've hesitated for so long. But then when you know, you know, and I had to have it. And then I got this. My dad actually contributed to my marathon dinner and next order and he bought me this for Christmas. Um, the pearl bracelet and I love the idea of wearing these all on their own but the whole point of her brand is that you layer everything up together then I bought this one for myself I literally went wild but because it's from America and paying with the shipping and everything it was better for me to just order it all at once and um, so the other bracelet that I bought was this one I think I can't remember what this is called this is called Tegan I think but I'll leave it all in the link below anyway for you to see this looks so beautiful just on its own, but then if I layer it up with this, it's just so me. I'm so into this whole chunky look. It actually looks really nice with my white jumper dress. This is a dress, by the way. It's like um, it's a hoodie. It's that feather knit that I love, and um, it's like to the knee. So I love silver jewellery and pearls with white knit, and that was actually a um, yeah, coincidence. So I've got that one as well. And I forgot all about this one. This is a choker. Again, amazing on its own, but then if I layer it with this necklace, I hope Drew doesn't watch this back. She's gonna be like, what are you doing to my pieces with this? So um, I just advise you to watch my New Year's Eve video, which is gonna be tomorrow, because I am a bit in a bit of a rush to get the party ready, but I'm definitely wearing this tonight. So if you watch my New Year's Eve video, they will A, B, 
me wearing this and if you pop over to my Instagram there will definitely be a photo of me wearing this so don't worry. So that's that. Um, I actually have got another necklace called the Horn and I swear I ordered it but I checked my order back and I didn't order it so that's definitely next on my list and that one's like $75 so that's definitely on my list. There's a few more pieces I want. I want the Gigi ring which is a really good price point at $75 but that was out of stock so you'll be seeing more of me wearing this. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm just going to pick up the next thing that's next to me. This is my Dior book that Paris bought me. This is the same one as my this is the same one as my Chanel one that I have. It's exactly the same but in black, same size, and it's the collections from like start to finish up until now. Um, my Chanel one I love. I lo love looking through back the inspiration of all the different collections. And I just love this one because it's grey and it's going to go... Well, it has already been in my coffee table in my Dior lounge. So that was a really lovely gift from Paris. Um, what else? My sister bought me the most beautiful pink velvet pyjamas. I've got so many pairs of pyjamas. Paris bought me the Olivia Von Howe. My mum bought me an extra pair of the white company pyjamas that you've been seeing on my Instagram like every day. They're like grey. They're the most amazing value for money and I bought her the fig leaves ones which were a Kelvin Klein pair with a cuff at the bottom because she's so short and then we both got like a white piping pair. I'll leave the links below because fig leaves and white company are the best value for money if you want silk pyjamas. Um, but I'll leave a picture here of the velvet pink ones that my sister bought me. They were so nice. She also bought me these Primark pearl I've never really seen these ones with like the hoops and I just thought they'd be really good to like hang my bags on and like scarves. So she bought me so many of these because she knows how OCD I am. If I had one pack, I would want like a whole row of them. So she actually bought me loads of these. One of the best gifts my mum bought me, which is a life changer, is a makeup brush. That's reflected on the night, but it's a makeup brush cleaner. I saw these on Instagram and thought, mm, you know, when it comes up as a sponsored post, and I thought, that that's probably a waste of money, but I'm going to give it a go. Completely forgot to buy it. This was one of my favourite gifts, and I've used my sister's. It's life-changing, because you should, you should wash your brushes every two weeks uh, for bacteria and everything, and I definitely do that, but it takes me ages. This washes and dries it. It's amazing. You, everyone has to get one of these. Even if you're not that into makeup, I'm sure there's one brush you have, and you have to make sure they're clean. That's that. Paris's mum, she's been really, really ill, bless her. Um, but she still ma managed to go to um, Harrods and buy me the Chanel Gabrielle perfume. I haven't smelt this. I've got so many people asking me if I liked it and I hadn't even smelt it. But I honestly do love it. I read that it took five years to um, design this bottle. It's the Gabrielle and I, I honestly do really like it. They always get me something Chanel, like Chanel Beauty. She always buys me the Hydra mask as well. And they bought me an iron, which I'm not going to show you because it's boring, but I loved it. Because that iron has broken and I've already been using that. Uh, next gift, my mum, just she bought me this from Dunelm. She bought me so many gifts from uh, Dunelm. She bought me a teddy mattress cover, teddy pillows, like really slight, squashy, fluffy pillows. I'm obsessed with pyjamas and like um, bed stuff, so she bought me loads of that. She bought me two huge sackfuls, like as big, big as my body. I can't believe how much she buys me when I'm in my 30s. Um, there's my Van Cleef box. I have so many, this is something that I treated myself to, and also Le Mer kindly sent me some for, um, for Christmas, which was really lovely of them. The Myrrh has been my lifesaver. The Renewal Oil is the one skin skincare product I would own if I could only have one thing. It kind of does a bit of everything anyway. So I've got the Revitalizing Hydro Serum, Serum and Mask, which is amazing. I take a little bit of the mask when I travel and it kind of like gives your skin what it needs after a flight. I've got uh, the Concentrate, which is really good if you have skin blemishes. It's really good for evening that out. Um, this is their new serum, which is their Essence, and it looks like this. This is for like anti-aging, and I probably recommend this for um, it's it's quite strong this one. So if you are in like early twenties, you probably don't need to go to this one quite yet. 
Um, I also got their new Brilliant Brightening, which I haven't tried yet. And that, I got the whole set of this one. So this is the mask, this is the serum. I haven't tried this yet, but my skin definitely needs brightening. I got the new concealer. I got one in medium, one in light. I've got the light one on at the moment under my eyes. Another revitalizing mask, an all soft cream. And then this is my favorite eye balm. Um, definitely you need to invest in your eyes. So that was such a treat. And then they know that I smashed my highlight in the Mer same focus. I smashed that. I, d I think I'm so bothered about breaking them. I'm being too precious with them, too precious, and then I smash it and it's just devastating. And then you have to bring yourself back into reality and be like, no, there are worse things in life. This was only meant to be a 10 minute video, but I did tell you I got so spoiled and I've only bought like a quarter of what I actually got. I told you I got really spoiled this year. Um, and I know that this is, that not everybody enjoys these, what I got for Christmas, and please don't see it as like, oh, look what I got. Without getting into it too much, my life hasn't always been like this, like Paris and I are adults, so the Christmas that we buy for everyone else and each other, that's something that we've worked for, so I hope this doesn't come across of like, oh, look what I've got. Um, I think anyone that does say, does say that has probably just clicked on this video and not really realised my history of um, like my upbringing and like how me and Paris are as everyday people. So before you do comment anything that this is a flash video or I'm showing off, please just go and, go and get to know me a little bit better. And if you still think I'm a raging bitch, then okay. Back to the haul. I wanted to show you something that I got from Paris. Um, I spoil him all year round to be honest and that's mainly because he's not bothered about clothes or what he looks like so I'm the one always buying him his clothes but I have to show you these because I know that so many of you love to watch um, what I buy for him and I know obviously I have some guy followers as well. I have always wanted Paris to have a Shielin coat. I am obsessed with Shielin aviators. You know I have my acne one that I bought about three years ago and swear by it. And then I bought my Balenciaga one. I love it. Paris is always saying he's cold, but he loves wearing his leather jacket. So I was like, right, I'm definitely getting him one this year. And when it comes to clothing for men, I personally don't think that men can get away with wearing cheap clothes. Like a girl can get away with wearing a Shielin misguided coat or Zara coat and we look amazing I personally don't think men can get away with it as much especially when it's someone like Paris who's who can be quite formal when he is like older so we found one in Zara and it was amazing it was the first time we tried one on and then he put it on I hope I'm in focus and then he put it on and I really didn't love it I felt like it looked really really cheap but I knew I'd actually already found this one so I found the best one in Burberry and all the guys ones, you're looking at like minimum 2000, minimum. And I know that he doesn't care about clothes enough for me to spend that. It took me more than six months to find this brand. So you can thank me later when you go and have a look. This is what I bought him. So I wanted to get him an all black one because he loves wearing all black. I love Paris in all black. Um, it's the same shape as his Belfast biker. It's quite short. I know that's what he wanted. And it's real leather and real shielding inside, so it's going to be really warm and it's going to be last long. And he likes good quality things anyway. I'm sorry that you can't see it here properly, but I'll put up a picture here, which is of the grey one. So when I found, by the way, sorry, this is from a Blake called Blake Headley. Um, it's a British brand and the price point is will blow your mind these are 300 pounds but go on the website right now because for a limited edition just for today i think they are doing the charcoal with dark charcoal i probably would have bought that one if i'd seen it it is amazing and they're doing it for 200 or 225 pounds that is unreal for a leather jacket with shearling and i'm telling you they are amazing paris I gave this to him on Christmas Eve and we wore it out of his family. He actually had it a week before. That was a lie. I gave it to him a week before because he found it. But when I found the black one, I was going to get him... I, could, I know that he's going to wear it a lot. So I was going to buy him black and then a brown with cream like my Balenciaga. But then I was like, oh, if only they did it in grey. Because I personally really want one in grey. No one does grey shearling. I found like the odd one by Victoria Beckham. It's like 3000 and, you know, not going there. And then I found they did this. 
they do a grey men's sheathing jacket. This is to die for. When Paris wears this, I've lost count of how many people come up to him and ask him, like men, women, everything. Um, so it's from Blake Headley. Here's the Instagram. I'll leave the website below. And if you're interested, you're going to miss a bargain if you don't buy the one for £200 in the limited edition grey. I found these all by myself on Instagram. I contacted them. I paid for it. And I don't want to discredit the stuff when I do work with uh, brands. But this, I cannot sing these praises enough. Customer service is amazing. Every time I message them, they message me back. Delivery service was great. I'm just so pleased that I found it. Um, but Paris is going to be wearing it a lot more on Instagram and everything. I'll do my best to get a better picture of him. He hates having his photo taken. So yeah, I got him the black and the grey one because I really couldn't decide which one to get. And I've got my eye on the brown one. But go and look at their Instagram because their photos are really good. You can actually really see how everyone's wearing them. And FYI, all the guys are hot on the Instagram. Just to let you know. So they really do make the jacket look, some jackets look amazing. My mum bought me, I didn't mean to bring these in, but my mum bought me so many white towels because we're having two of our bathrooms redone. Um, and she also bought me a white dressing gown. Oh, actually it's here. This is a Marks and Spencer one and I forgot that I'd asked my mum and Paris for, for a dressing gown. But it's fine because this white one I'm going to have at the flat. And then the other one is really similar but with grey piping. I'll leave them both below because they're both really nice dressing gowns. And they're both toweling but really, really soft. Um... This is one of the best presents I have ever had and I say that because one, I love home things and it's very hard to get me a present that I've never seen before. My mum bought me the marble plate set which I'd already bought myself but I'm glad she bought me another one because then I had enough for everyone on Christmas Day. And then she bought me this marble uh, bath mat so I'm going to save it for when we've got our new bathroom. But how amazing is that? It's from Next. Next has got the most amazing marble stuff at the moment. It's one of my favourite home stores, Next. So um, I think we all need one of these, a marble bath mat. Last thing is my New Year's Eve coat. And they actually gave me a hat as well, which is lovely. It's like a grey hat that I've left in the house. I'm going to wear it tonight with two fluffy light ears. It's so amazing. So I thought this is such a long video, sorry. Um... This is my New Year's Eve coat. Again, sorry that I'm not watching it, but for those of you that get frustrated with that, just head over to my Instagram right now because there'll be lots of Instagram stories of me wearing this and no doubt one on my actual Instagram wearing it. And then don't forget, next video, I'll be wearing this. Um, so this is a real sheer limb, um, kind of like furry bomber jacket. As soon as I found these on Instagram, I, I had to have one. It comes in baby pink, black. It comes in so many different colours. I'm really dying for the black one. Because now it's arrived, I've seen how fluffy it is. You know when you see things on a photo, and then they arrive, and they actually feel really cheap. They're not very fluffy. It's not very warm. This is like overdosed on fluff. It's so warm. It's the perfect shape. It's one size fits all. They've nailed it with the size. The size is amazing. If you're smaller than me, it will just look more oversized. If you're bigger than me, it will still fit you really well. I don't know how they've managed to get the size so on point. It's the perfect grey colour. I'm going to wear this so much with jeans, patent trousers, dresses... And it's nice for like when you're going out, out. So I'm definitely wearing it tonight. It came just in time. Shipping was amazing. This is a British brand also. Um, sorry, I really don't have time to try it on. If I do, then great. If not, just stay tuned for the next video. I'm getting so lazy. I'm like slumped down in this. Um, so that's the end of what I got for Christmas. I know it's a little tiny bit rushed and also a bit long. I've just uh, got to start getting ready for tonight. But I hope you all have the best Christmas. I hope you like seeing a few of the things that I got. If I did too many, sorry, um, I tried to keep it down. Really excited to wear these. Can't wait for that. So again, head over to my Instagram and you can see my whole look for tonight. I'm sliding, I'm sliding. Uh, yeah, so I hope you had a great New Year's Eve. I hope you're chilling out today, New Year's Day. And I'll catch you in the next one.